Hey, sugars, this is Maddie. You're probably going, um, bitch, you dropped Love in Paradise uh, episode one already. Um, maybe is Poodle going to yell at Maddie? Did Maddie mess up again on technology? No, actually. Uh, we realize that Love in Paradise has been dropping on TLC, actually. So they're doing basically what they're doing with the single life. They're putting it on Discovery Plus, and then about three or four months later, they're going to drop it on the free feed. And since we're doing that now with the single life, because we're doing that on our Patreon and Supercast, we thought... Well, and we're going to drop that eventually on the free feed. We should do that with Love in Paradise. So this is an encore epi- uh, episode or encore, yeah, episode of Love in Paradise, episode one. And then you'll see that today we're also dropping episodes two and three. And then we'll be dropping um, our episodes of Love in Paradise every Friday on the free feed. So there you go, sugar. It's a little early holiday present or Hanukkah right now if you're celebrating. There you go. All right, everybody. Let's enjoy. Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, matey. Love. Do-do-do-do. Exciting and new. Ooh. Go online. Mm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Beyonce. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> it's reality, yes. Let's love. Well, here we are. <laughs> I was going to say, I guess you're going to start. Well, I didn't know. I was looking at you. You I, were looking at me. That sounds like the beginning of a song. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's uh, out, Which is how the beginning of every one of these relationships started. <laughs> like, they begin like a like pop a song. song. They begin like a pop song, and y'all, they're going to end like a country song. <laughs> <laughs> I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. <laughs> Um, <laughs> y'all, this is Love in Paradise, colon, the Caribbean. Now, this show- This is reality gaze. If this you're, is reality gaze. If you're new to us, which you're, this is on our, well, this episode's on our free feed, but the yeah. rest of these, uh, the first two episodes are going to go on our free feed, and the rest are going to yeah. go behind uh, Patreon or Supercast. But so if yeah. you're new to us, we're the reality gaze. We talk a lot about 90 Day Fiance, and this is the newest kind of- offering from the Spin 90 off. day multiverse ish yeah I, I feel like are they gonna have love in paradise the caribbean and then like love in paradise croatia Cro- or dick Hawaii. Riviera. if they dick Riviera edition. If, if they put love in paradise colon the dick, dick Riviera, Riviera i am suing discovery plus I like am they took to sue us um if y'all are unfamiliar with the dick Riviera, it's that whole ball shaped area <laughs> <laughs> prostate shaped area in the yep. kind of uh, Mediterranean Sea. The taint uh, of the Mediterranean. Yeah, it's Croatia, uh, Greece, all of it. That is where you may find the, 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 you may find the variety of the biggest uncut dicks. In, in all in, the land. In, in all the world. It's, this is, okay. Overall thoughts on this show. Um... I think this has the potential to be so fucking messy. Um, yeah. I'm here for it. I called it love after lockup e- plus night. If fiance. I think I'm going to walk that back a little bit because no mm-hmm. one is as big of um, big of red flags. Uh-huh. However, I will say that I don't think any of these relationships are going to work out <laughs> with the exception of the older couple. And I say older, any, they're, they're outside their twenties. Um, but I, they, they still have a long way to go. Well, but hopefully, all of the, yeah. all of the younger couples they're none of these people are serious. These are all like wannabe influencers. <laughs> it's <sighs> like, uh, or, yeah. or they're completely just, 
clueless like, like ariana. ariana yeah oh. yeah oh bless yeah. her heart this is gonna be real messy y'all i just the, the, and, and all and all of the basically every single relationship was initiated on a bang trip on a bang trip so this no. is not this is not like we connected over photos we talked this is you look good in the cabana one night I had too many Pisco Sours. We banged. We hung together for the next three or four nights. I cry when I left you. I forgot about you for a couple of months until I went back there. And then I, then I realized we could make something of it. Or it, I forgot about you until I didn't get my period. <laughs> oh, her poor mother. Her who poor. Who says, didn't really expect to become a grandma. From a vacation. (laughs) From a vacation. (laughs) That was my favorite line of this episode. She said it so seriously, too. She did. Oh, I'm going to call this now. I think this is the... I think this the time of the show could not be more perfect oh, because perfect. we're all stuck inside. We're dealing with pandemic yeah. stuff. The world's starting to open up, but things are coming. Delta's back. Like we're dealing with this stress. We just want to get away and see beautiful places and yeah, kind of smart. forget about our lives. I, I, I'm predicting this show would do well and they will do more love in paradise. Oh. I think they're going to do the Mediterranean. I bet Bahamas, I bet they're going to do the Bahamas, yeah. the, I don't know the, well, I, I guess that's Island. kind of Caribbean. So or that's a Carib- like the Maldives, maybe it's a little far, but Bali, yeah, but I don't know what they're going to do. Like South Pacific. Yeah. Lake Murray out here in Ardmore, <laughs> love in paradise, Lake Murray. <laughs> I met Tasha after I hit up the uh, uh, bait shop, <laughs> and we had we had a wonderful three days together, just eating spaghettios out of the can. <laughs> then she went back to Enid, and I never saw her again. <laughs> she got a problem because she uh uh you know she's got she's got that lamp and uh uh she take care of her mama um, her boyfriend from with Tomka's looking for her too yeah <laughs> she's got she's got she's got a warrant she's got a couple open warrants but um Woo! so you know basically let me let me explain the premise if we hadn't already um These are people, the reason why they're calling this a 90 day story is the original, the original name of this show. And I, and and I, I wrote it down because it was on, going to be on our list and it was called 90 day fiance Caribbean love. And maybe Mm -hmm. they didn't have a final title uh, yet, which happens a lot. Uh, I have a feeling that TLC, especially with Discovery Plus, they're just putting out so much content. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is going to be called Bang Trip Central. Yeah. And, yeah. and probably it was announced and it got never got the final okay for the name. And the reason why, you guys, that some of them are doing the K-1 visa, but there are some who aren't. Some so of them it's aren't. Not the, so the idea of a 90-day fiancé really – it's it th- these these people might be candidates to be on night if you say this is yeah. much more before the 90 days ish but it's it, not really the same it so that's my question <laughs> why didn't they just put these people on before the 90 days is it because everybody they they realize we have a lot of people that had bang trips on islands and we could yes. create this show from this yes because these are all bang trips these are these are all people who were beguiled by the sunset and the parrots in the in the in the yeah. palm trees and they've had a couple too many sea breezes ah and they see a they see a dj over the dj booth and you know what life this is the thing it's not reality when you're on vacation. You don't have to use condoms on vacation because no one gets pregnant on vacation. <laughs> Unless you're Ariana. <laughs> We've no, seen thing this. Is, y'all, people do get pregnant on vacation. You just need to wrap it up because that's the one place you don't want to get pregnant on because you're only there for a little bit. Because then you're <laughs> dealing with your the father of your child lives on an <laughs> island in the Caribbean and works for a swingers club. Yes. 
Oh, wow. This is, let's, wow. wow. Let's, let's, let's jump, jump into the deep in. end of the pool. Um, Y'all, we're in Quincy, Illinois with Ariana. She's <laughs> how, I got everybody else's age. How does, she's like 24. They're all young. She's they're young. all young except for Mark and Kay. Yeah, uh, they're all in their twenties, mm-hmm. like blissfully unaware of what waits for them. <laughs> blissfully, y'all. It, I feel like a lot of these people they would be friends or party with somebody like Brittany from not a, like this kind of like young wonderlust or like oh Brittany from um from Night Days yeah or or like Tania when no, she got with she's too, she, I can't believe I'm saying this. Tania's too sensible. But to be with not these when people. she met Sinjin. She yeah, was like she was party younger. Girl. She was yeah. part. It's like they Possibly all have Courtney. That- <clears throat> Courtney. Yeah. Young, yeah. young who have like hashtag wanderlust for everything, which, which is, makes we- me murderous. But that's when you should have that. Like you're yeah. young, you're you're not in school, you don't have a career. You just I wish I would have done that more. You did that. I did that. And uh here's the thing. Um about why wanderlust isn't so great when you're 30. <laughs> oh. Number one, hangovers last longer. Number two, uh, sleeping on the floor is not an option anymore because she got back problems. Yep. <laughs> and I'm reading, I'm reading for filth all of you wanderlusters out there who think you're going to keep doing it. Then, uh, then you start having things like maybe in your mid thirties where you can eat pizza. If you eat pizza the, in a, from a from a cabana at two a.m., you get acid reflux. <laughs> so you do the twenty the twenties is a good time. Or both. But yeah, you're, maybe we're wrong. I know we do have some sissies. Like we have some sissies that live in Bali and stuff that are yeah. Americans that live. So come at us, maybe. Maybe we're not seeing the bigger picture. Maybe Poodle. Maybe liar. I'm a grandma. Maybe, which could be <laughs> very true. Um, I, but I want to say th- it is. You should do that in your twenties. If you haven't done it, if you're if you're trying to figure out how to travel the world, you can do it in your thirties and forties. Know that it's going to cost more <laughs> substantially I, because I'm planning on doing that because I want I did not do it in my 20s and it is going to cost more and luckily my partner wants to do that and we're not going to have kids but y'all when you're 40 you don't want to stay in hostels nope I'm not <laughs> staying in a hostel I want to stay at a nice Marriott do you know how mm-hmm. expensive that is in yeah. in Bali yeah I'm you're gonna, gonna pay for you're it you're gonna be paying the nose yeah. Um, I think it's also different in your twenties when you're traveling is you're not traveling so fast. You're not, um, your days aren't as packed. You enjoy a night in instead of partying every night. Um, so yeah. that's, that's a, that's the big difference too. I know every Island that they talk about, they're like, Oh, Jamaica's the best party spot. Barbados is the best party spot. And I'm, and I literally just went, Oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Well, the thing the thing about it is too, you. I will agree that if you're if you're with a place where if you're like especially a lot of islands, if you're thinking of seeing sites and things like that, you'll kind of get all those done the first three or four days. Then it is parties, uh, dinners, things like, like events like DJ events, things like things that you if you like that kind of stuff, the Caribbean is great. Um, or you're just like laying around getting sun. The Caribbean is wonderful. Um, but I like to do more things. So Me too. I'm, I don't, I don't know if I would be, I've, I've been to the Bahamas before. Um, and I was bored in five days, but that's me. Cause but. I, cause I'd fucked all the gay guys. <laughs> that's basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will, I will say I was that- working on the straight men, but it was harder than I thought. You know, the different, you know, this is different. It's a little different for, it's like, this is into a world Jake and I don't know because it's a, not to put it downer, but it is a little bit different in uh, the Caribbean because the Caribbean's not necessarily the most gay friendly no. place in the world. Like people still get killed in Jamaica for being gay. Yeah. So, th- so, and I don't mean that to bring it down. I mean, this was no, a, this you're, was a you're, whole world. You're I'm not accurate. As, uh, as what's her name says, I'm not familiar with this world. So it was, it was, it's very interesting to see. Let's jump into Ariana, y'all. So she's in. Uh, and Ariana and Sherlon. Sherlon. Uh, now, 
Ariana's in Quincy, Illinois, and she said, I was always the fat girl that everybody said I had a really pretty face. And she, that bothered her. I've heard, I, I've heard people say that to bigger women. And I, I imagine that would just like, oh, bug, oh, bug the shit out of you. Oh, You're like, thanks, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- no. All, all of my, all of my queer dear friends were always. Yeah. You're so girl, pretty. It's a shame you're being. Yeah, such a, or you have such a pretty face. And then they just, uh, so, <sighs> you know, that's hard to hear. So, but then two years ago, she really got into lifting weights and she worked out and she lost a hundred pounds for her. And She's she was healthier. going on a trip with her sister to be like, hey, I would do this too if I got her, really my new bugged. body trip. Yeah. If, do a new body that's great i love this you're celebrating yourself so she's like "Woo! i'm doing a new body trip nothing is gonna nothing's gonna take control of my body now nothing is going to put oh, me off track oh. <laughs> oh. my body is mine forever, forever. until it's this baby uh, <laughs> have Boy, a baby what a complete like cult, like cold glass of water in the face i know i'm like did you did like a past life of yours kill someone like what did you yeah but so so they went to jamaica and that's where she met shirlan uh, shirlan he was um he's working with his father in a boating tourism boating business mm-hmm. and shirlan you can already get an idea about what you're getting he says, "No, all, our culture is all about parties and smoking that reefer. Smoking that reefer. All he's, about relax. It's uh, we're on island time." He's like, "The people of Jamaica are the nicest people in the world." Uh, it is really interesting it, when you when when you do work in a place where the main uh, main export or the main business is tourism. You are constantly an ambassador. Because it's how you've grown up. It's yeah, always. Um, and I, I mean, South Carolina is a tourist state. I know it's shocking for if you if you've. <laughs> I don't know if Oklahoma is that much of a tourist state. Uh, maybe maybe they have some people. No, but especially our beaches and the mountains. You you grow up evangelizing for your state, and you don't realize it. <clears throat> um, so that's one of the reasons it's you're steeped in it. So you'll always hear people who are from tourist areas say, oh, it's the best place. You have to come here, blah, blah, blah. And maybe maybe he's trying, maybe he's doing that because he's worked there. Or maybe it's just so in his culture to do that. Well, my cousin, my Aunt Peggy's daughter, Kelly, literally just got back from Jamaica last week. And they go on all these different places. They like going to islands. And she said it was the nicest people she's ever met on an island trip. I believe it. They also... Many of the men tried to hit on her daughter, and two of them asked if they could take her on like a cruise, like a little boat cruise. She's, I wonder what that's what happened to her. Uh, she's 14, her daughter. And oh she, my God. She doesn't look 14, but my cousin was like, no, 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 no. And someone's like, you can you can bring her, your sisters, right? And she said, <gasps> I'm her mother. I just turned 50, although she does look young. So, so there is this very much like, I, so I bring that up because there is this tourist culture of being ambassador, but also like y'all, there are, a lot of them are hot guys and hot women that live in this country that want to fuck up, that just want to fuck other people that come yeah. in because it's it's like they, when you go to have Puerto a limited Vall- amount. Have you been to Puerto Vallarta, Poodle? I have not. I've I've, I've never been. felt more attractive in my life than that because y'all Puerto Vallarta is in Mexico and it's a very right. gay area, and I mean. It's the first time I'd ever was cat called in my life, and I enjoyed it <laughs> by locals or yes, yes. Mm, do you think they might have wanted your pesos? You know what? I want you <laughs> to let me have this. I felt pretty. Someone stole my cell phone later, but for a day, I felt pretty. I I have a feeling that. That it may have been something just, else they were they were being attracted to. Just just putting that out there. We need to move on. We need to talk about the show and not me. Um. So y'all, his other his other employment. He besides he has another job. He works at a swingers resort. Swingers resort. And he says there's just naked butts and boobies and 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 he's People like people come here sp- for a, come here for a wild time. Yeah, we're not supposed to interact. And then the producer said, did you, did you already break any of those? He's like, oh, 
Multiple times. <laughs> more more times than you so, can count, my friend. My no, friend. Sherlon's been in the menagerie. Uh, sure, sure, yeah, with people sure. he did not know. <laughs> he is freaky fucking deaky. Yeah. He said he's seen he's seen orgies and y'all, even we, 90 day fiance, they're showing us tits and ass. I know. And the word fuck, I was like, oh, Oh, so, it's saucy. And he says, men are dogs, my friend. Men are dogs. Now, boy, I hope Ariana doesn't see, <laughs> see this. Maybe maybe selectively she's gone into labor and, and maybe she'll never watch it again. But this is not something I would want Ariana no. to see. No. And he said, I never <laughs> dreamed I'd be tied to one forever. How, what, a, what a sweet way to phrase that. Um, tied without... Want without your permission. So later on, Ariana, we find out one month after getting home, she finds out she is pregnant. She's and pregnant. Because she says we did not use protection. We just got the heat of the moment, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, y'all, bang trips are all about protection. I, if I was <laughs> going on a bang trip and I was a woman, I would either, I would just put something in me <laughs> that I could an IUD. I know. I don't know if those but are that's safe. Just, but that's just pregnancy protect, but prevention, I, not STDs or anything like that. I know. So I mean, I would. I would. I would. Well, what I didn't have sex with anybody when I was in Puerto Vallarta, but I didn't want to. But when I was uh, there, there were other friends, and I we were all like double wrap that condom, like right. And every, like so, I can't imagine. Babies alone, but I would, y'all, I would just assume if I had unprotected sex with somebody in Puerto Vallarta, I'm going to get gonorrhea. Like, I'm just going to get something. And it's not where it is or the people. It is the volume of people who have come in and come out. It's it's like if I, it's it's not the people, yeah. It's (laughs) like if I have sex with somebody in South Beach. Yeah. I'm going to get – that's like a haven for gay yeah. tourism. It's or, just going to happen. One of the reasons that San Francisco became um, kind of a gay mecca is because of all of the sailors who went in and out of the place. Yeah, exactly. Literally. They went in and out all the okay. time with each oh. other. <laughs> so it, it became – so it, it's, the, it's, the, it's the people who are coming in and out and the return – of uh or the, yes. the frequency of of how many people and just the, the huge volume it's like atlanta airport yeah you know if, yeah if you think if you think you go on a bank trip and you think that hot guy that fucks you is only having sex with you <laughs> then you're gonna grow up to be a carl's wife i mean to be honest i never bought it when devar said he wasn't the kind of guy who banged women at resorts I think Melanie oh. reformed him. He definitely banged reformed. women yes, at, at the resorts. Yes, bar was banging everybody. Come on. Um, Someone but, who says now that he's that sexual and has to have sex five times a day. Yes. I believe that Melanie and oh, yes. Melanie and Devar and maybe Tanian and Sinja, Sinjin might be the only successful bang trips. Well, I don't know if I'm. I've heard some stuff about Sinjin that he's got a wondering eye. Well, and he I'm, just, I'm just saying to what we to what we know. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, y'all. So, so yes. Yeah, so it's now three months before she's going to have the baby, and so Ariana's like, she said, "I didn't want to do this right now. I wanted to do things else in my life, but uh, she's keeping the baby. She's going forward. So it's three months." And now they're kind of discussing if they're going to bring Sherlon there, if he's not. And she finally, COVID's kind of lifted. And she, I mean, I feel for her. That's the worst time to get pregnant right before COVID. Right. And it's like, what the fuck? You're but now right. She, she oh. is fucking Eeyore. Like, she I, is really, she is, has a cloud of rain over her. Uh, I'm like, what did you do? In what did past you do, life? honey? Like, you've got karma. And so now she's going to go to Jamaica to figure it out. And her mom and her sister, they're all like, her two going. sisters are going to go with her as well. Y'all, it's going to be Midwestern trips. Of course, there's going to be questions about like, Mama Bev said, we even saw a little bit of this, or Sister Bev that Melanie. So, how many other children you got on the island? You know, we're gonna yeah. see that. We're we're definitely gonna see that. And and so, 
Kim, uh, Karen, and her mother. The mother, yes. Miss Karen. It, they <laughs> are they are going to buy some clothes for the new baby. And they're talking about putting together the baby's room. And the mom, this is so Midwestern kind of, she doesn't, she doesn't know. She's like, what are we going to do with the baby's room? So no Jamaican mom. And I'm like, and she's like, mom. And I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, this oh, is going to go really well. really well. Well, and Karen is worried because... Sherlon is supposed to have been on top of this K-1 visa, and he hasn't done anything. Spoiler alert. I, I that got her. no indication that Sherlon actually was 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 excited about coming no! to the U.S. or that, wanted to do anything. That's what I kind of enjoy about this show is uh, we kind of have this nationalism, you know, that – Again, like you were saying, like tour, like people in tourist areas, well, also in countries, countries evangelize people yeah. to think your country is the best country in the world. And you and I love America. We're very gl- grateful that we live here. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself, Sonny. <laughs> um, I am. I'm very grateful. And so, but at the same token, it's this idea we, I think a lot of Americans think, oh, everybody wants to come here. That's not always the case, and I I thought it was super interesting that y'all these people live in paradise and have made their living living in paradise. Why do they want to come and fucking live in like Topeka, Quincy, Indiana, Quincy, in Topeka, Illinois? Yeah, in Sandusky, Ohio, or wherever. God. When they live, when you're key and you're a personal trainer okay. on. Okay, I know, I'm I, sorry. I, I, I would have bet you a hundred dollars because it's spelled K E Y. I even wrote that down. I said, Maddie's going to always pronounce this. Her name is I'm gonna Key. I'm always say Key. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so, <laughs> Key, Key, y'all so cute. Come here, Key. Anyway, <laughs> why would you want to live here? So, anyway, I think it's an interesting story perspective that they're going to be bringing up with that. Yeah. Anyway, that's well, all I have for them. We, we've heard that a little bit with people like Evelyn uh, and Corey. Um, so, but so there, yeah. are, there are a lot of Ooh. exceptions to that. Y'all, but, Evelyn, and that's what, the master. And I will say, Kay reminds me of a nice Evelyn in a lot of ways. They both Agreed. have that kind of beachy vibe. Um, Kay gives me another vibe, too. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> I think I know what you're going to say. But but let's talk about for now, Amber, who's 30, and Danielle, who, or Daniel, who's Oh, no, who's I just 20. want to get, we, you forgot there's their whole situation when they were talking to him in the um, Oh, oh, in the okay, store. okay, go ahead. Um... He, they call him in the store, you guys, and, and and her mom is very skeptical, and and he's like, yeah, he's like, well, so what's going, on, Miss Miss Karen? And she and Ariana's like, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we we we, can, we need to talk about this later. And he's like, oh sure, we're gonna talk about it. She's like, I you, I gotta go. And she's like, she tells her mom, I'm sorry, he's just so funny all the time. It's really hard to talk about anything serious. Oh, and I, I kind of blocked that out. That's the problem. <sighs> and actually, it's not that he's so funny all the time. He gives you butterflies, and you haven't even stepped one toe into the reality pool. You have refused. Yes, you have a baby growing inside of you, and it is imminent. <laughs> but <sighs> you, your brain is still in Jamaica. I, I think, yeah, I think also, too, you know, uh, Sherlon definitely, like Poodle talked about this with Debar. He's always on. Yeah. He's always on and kind of on entertainer kind of mode. But also, too, I think this is for- so old for me. Because Ariana already brought up her own issues with growing up and being bigger. So here's the deal is that I bet you, I'm not saying it wouldn't happen. I'm just saying that basically where she lives, a guy who looks like Sherlon would never give her the time of day. Yeah. Before. And then she's lost this weight. But again, y'all, we've said this before. You can lose all the weight, but you st- it's some it doesn't fix who you are, your confidence on the inside. Yeah. That and so we, if you're big, small, you're com- you can be the most confident person. That's that's for you to create, right? But I think for her, she gets so Twitter pated with him because he's quote unquote so this her gorgeous attention. man that's never would have done this before. Yep, it's not um, gonna go. Let's good. talk about. Amber and Danielle uh, from Florida and Costa Rica. And Costa Rica. He's originally uh, Venezuela. Venezuelan. Venezuela. Ooh, Ooh, y'all. Boy. Ooh, I can tell Ven- you it's nice. Venezuela. Holy God. Venezuelan, Dick. Ooh. Venezuela, <laughs> Colombia, y'all. That's You get that's, more than a postcard. It's not the area. Uh, <laughs> a postcard. Ooh. So, um, Amber... 
Amber from Seminole, Florida. Boy, she's textbook Florida. Um, they went to, she's like, I've been, I love to travel and I have a hooked up on every island, but I like an island romance. She meets Danielle. <laughs> yeah, she said, I've got to experience many men from different cultures, which sounds like something <laughs> poodle. I know. Say. So many. And again, uh, we're not judging. Like, Amber is a pretty 30 year old. No, we're sex it. positive. I'm yeah. saying, have a bang trip. Do all you want to. I don't love the phrase experience men from lots of cultures because it sounds like you're a buffet of men that you're trying it, to trying it, to it, trying to uh, trying to pick and choose it like your like your personal Benetton or Ep- Epcot Center. It, it, coming from a so, white blonde woman, it was a it's little, a little cringy. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I don't I don't think she'll ever understand why we think it's cringy. So no, she won't. So, uh, so she but yeah, she meets Daniel's Danielle. Um, Daniel. I keep saying Danielle because that's how he pronounces it. Oh, is that what he said, Daniel? Oh, yeah, okay, that's how okay. you would pronounce it in Spanish. Oh, that's true, Danielle. And I'm yes. going to give him. I'm going to give that his due. No, that's fine. Okay. Danielle. So she's going to say Daniel. He's y'all. He's 23. He's very young. She's do what 26. Do you know how long he can fuck her? Oh, like just... no, not not very long because. He he would have to jerk off four times in the morning so he can fuck her over ten minutes. But then when they're done, ten minutes He'll later, fuck again. He, he's slapping that slapping that uh, log on your leg, saying, mm-hmm. "Hey, hey, yeah, good morning." Uh, so good sorry morning. that that took you to a that place. took you didn't somewhere. It? I was like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so anyway, Darcy and Stacey, oh, oh. he never oh. thought he would be in something serious like this. I, and they're showing all these pictures and videos, and I just want to say Amber is that girl or that woman who puts in those weird contacts to yeah. make her eyes look like anime that are big. And y'all, that shit freaks me out. So he like contacted it. her when she left. They talked every day. And when she went down there again, they got engaged. He was like, baby, I missed you. Yes, Yay. they got engaged. And she said, COVID's made it miserable. This is supposed to take four months. It's been 11 months uh, for and this process to get going. But I I'm can finally so sorry go visit this him. Has put a damper on your bang trip engagement. Um, so Ashley and Lacey, her sisters, they are bike riding. And, and she's like, these are my sisters. These are my rider dies. Till the casket drops. Till the <laughs> casket drops. Um. And and they're best like you would have thought you'd be the last, last one. You'd be the one to get married. I mean, really. Uh, so te- what that tells me is she's the slut of the sisters. Nothing uh, wrong with that. But no, y'all. She, yeah. If Poodle was a white blonde woman in Florida, <sighs> you would have been this. Uh, I think I would have had a little more self awareness. If you grew uh, up as if you grew up as pretty as she did, because she is pretty. Maybe you're right. I don't know. <laughs> there's 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 not a lot in there. There's not a there's not a lot to Amber, y'all. I, I gotta be honest. Uh there's not a lot there. So oh. she's uh she's basically saying, um the sisters are saying you, you remember that she's financially supporting him now because he lost his job due, of, due to COVID. Because he works in the tourism. And exactly. So so many people lost their jobs. And they're saying, you know, remember that when you're coming, when you come back here with Daniel, um, and I think Daniel hasn't said anything about coming back to the U.S. No. Um, but she's basically assuming, like like all Americans, that everyone wants to come here and that well, she's a golden Willy Wonka ticket. Well, she said that they did start the K-1 visa, so maybe they've talked about that. But she's done it all. He's yes. he's just uh and it could be and it could be that he's just letting her do it all because he knows she will. And again, the sisters are like typical 90 day. This is very much like 90 day. They're like, "I wonder if he's coming here for the right reason. Does he yeah, just want to all that?" Come? And I again, we don't seem to get that vibe from him, but she is supporting him fully. Um, and so much so that the sisters, the sisters are the basic conversation of, I just hope he's here for the, you know, love, love, right. love. But so, then she talks to him on Skype and that's where this got a little bit dicey. And now he does have a new job. 
uh, but it doesn't pay as well. And he's we don't like, know what the job is. Could you bring me a new phone when you come to visit? Is that a new phone? <laughs> <laughs> now, y'all, we know a new phone. We know an iPhone these days, which I'm still like an old person. I'm still amazed at how expensive they are oh. because I remember when phones used to be like. Fifty dollars. It's true. Flip Ever, phones. Remember when you would buy a phone and not hook it up? Yeah, for exactly. like four, four months after you bought it. I'm not familiar. And uh, <laughs> but like when you buy a phone now, it's like a thousand dollars. It is, and it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ludicrous. It's it's not because it's all about supply and demand, and we use our phone for everything now. I'm still angry about it. I want you to think uh, about this. That phone is the reason why you have been introduced to so many nine inch dicks. Mm. That does that does make it better. Uh, think I about, still I think still, about all the fucking you've done because oh. of that phone. You know, you you're proving me wrong here, but so I'm uh you know it's that that's like that commercial priceless. It's not <laughs> cost of cost of seeing your graduate cost of seeing your son graduate. Uh, or, or cost of cost of the flight here five hundred dollars. Cost of the flowers a hundred dollars. Christ, c- Christ. Uh, cost of getting pummeled until until your eyes cross. Priceless. <laughs> yeah, you think about that with your phone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Put some things in. Pre- Otherwise, you'd just be sitting at Fiesta Cantina wishing some. <laughs> Which twink. way you boys is gonna buy me a drink next? <laughs> They're like, oh, Miss Poodles here again. Mm-hmm. How old is she anyway? Oh, yeah. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> old enough to know better. You're that queen that every time there's a new go-go boy who's a dancer, you just throw hundreds of dollars at yeah. them. Which would no, have been me more too. Like tens. Yeah. Um. So they are. He says, "Give me." But bring, she's full on crying. Phone? She's crying. She's like, why the phone? Because y'all. Why am I making do this? And she's crying because here's the thing, y'all. She's her crying because she tells her yep, that she has I'm made a for. bad decision. She is crying because she made the <sighs> wrong decision, y'all. Because not only does he need a new phone. Y'all, he's 23 years old, so I can't be mad at him. He's fucking 23. He doesn't even check his email. And that is a thing for younger kids. Until yeah. they get jobs, I remember my old, my nephews, even my youngest one now, who's he, he's in college, so it's a little bit more, but he's, he's he not getting check his home. fucking email? He doesn't check his... No, they don't need to use email. They don't need to use it. Even even the generation now? No. If you want something, you send them a fucking TikTok or a snap that's or a text, and that's how you tell them to. They use texting like email. Okay. God. That I don't just, understand any of this. That just blew Poodle's mind. No, but, it's yo, just. Come at us with your kids. Now, until they get it, like, now that my oldest nephew got, like, a job with the city, he has a real job, he's like, oh, okay, email. But I still have never ever personally emailed anything to him email is still used business for everything but if you're 23 years old and you work on a tourist island why does he need to check email i guess but she should have she should have told him maybe she didn't tell him that she was sending it yeah so anyway she didn't tell him and she's like you didn't read the emails i sent you with all the no so she's like so you don't have your papers yet or your birth certificate or your your police report she said, you've had 11 months to do this. And he's like, Costa Rican people are relaxed. <laughs> and I'm like, you're Venezuelan, honey. But I'm glad you've adapted. Glad um, you've adapted. But I, I've i got to say, though, uh, she, she's like, I've been doing all the work. And I, I and then, <sighs> then she says, um, she says to him, and this is where you, you guys, you realize she has a lot of resentment towards him. And this is, this is what sucks. She's like, I hope you know all that I've sacrificed for you. And I hope that you can sacrifice for me. This is, Ooh, this is a yikes. problem of being young is that you really don't know how to communicate wants or needs at no. all. No. I think I'm calling it now. I, I'll be, I think this one's going to crash and burn more than any of them. This because to me, this to me seems like it's the first to burn. The, I agree. Because he even says, we find out next week, he says, 
I'm, I'm glad she's here, but there's a secret I haven't told Amber, and I think she's going to be pretty pissed off about it. I've got a secret. Is it? It's, it's not like that ABC show, y'all. <laughs> it's not like that old game show. Oh, I've God, got a what secret. Would it be? I work at a sex resort. No. <laughs> no, it's going to be I'm already married. I have a child. I have a child. Or or um, I, I like had a drunk driving thing. I can't get it. I or, can't, yeah, like, or something, a crime. Or maybe he's a criminal record. Like a, uh, a criminal, I can't go there. Yeah. He's cute. He is cute. It's not going to be, I have a secret. Um, Poodle I don't Poudreau. like raisins. Yeah, you, yeah, no. <laughs> it's not that. I'm allergic to cauliflower. No. It's not going to be that. No. no. You would have been so into him when you were like 25. I would have. And I am I'm into him now. That's yeah, how bad it he's is. He's very much your type. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's the kind I would drag home from Cobra. Oh, boy. Four nights a week. <laughs> On that note, y'all, we're going to keep going if you're on Reality Gaze Extra. But for our, our people on the free feed, we're going to take a commercial. We'll be right back. And on to the next, on to the next Ooh. disaster. <laughs> oh, but what a beautiful, beautiful oh, disaster. Oh, I knew you were Ooh. going to be into Steven. Oh. He is hot. I will say. Y'all. He is hot. Okay. Let's just talk about it now. I think Steven's huge. Yeah, it's big. Who's got the biggest dick on the show, Poodle? Use the gift. Sherlon. I think I agree. I think so as well. I think it's Sherlon, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Danielle, it's not really big, but don't you think it's probably very girthy? Yeah. Yeah. They're all They're all all, wonderful. They're all wonderful dicks. I think even Mark's got a decent penis. Oh, yes. That's what brought them all back, y'all. That dick. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, but Steven is like, ooh. You know, the memories of the island, the memories of the island fade, but the memories of that D remain. That. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about Martine and Martine. Steven. Uh, Steven I like is in- it how I just, just not to interrupt, but I like it how this show 90 day always introduces the American first. And oh, these yeah. Last like- two couples. They announced the person who's not American first. I, I think like that. Was, that. I think that's much more equitable way of doing it. I agreed. And Steven is from Barbados. I'd like to go to Barbados. It yes. looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Um, it does. I haven't really been to a lot. The I'm, beautiful I've, gem of the sea, he calls it. I've never it. been to the uh, – do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? Which one is correct? Uh, I think if you ask uh, Billy Ocean, he would say, Caribbean queen. <laughs> Uh, okay, I now I want to sing that as a theme song for this. I'm Why didn't I'm be No more love on the run. Uh, I don't, don't have a theme song for this, and it's Caribbean, not, Caribbean, it's te- Caribbean. It's technically not 90 days, so we probably should write a new theme song for this. Give me another hour in the day. <laughs> How about it? Can anyone send that to me? <laughs> My DMs are open. <laughs> you can send me that extra hour. Oh. Uh, and don't, but just don't take away my Rachel Maddow hour. That's the Y'all. one hour of the day that I protect. <laughs> That's what Poodle needs. Y'all, but they, these producers know what they're doing. Literally, he comes out of the water. Yeah, he's oh God, like, he he's is built hot. like this Greek Oof. god, Michelangelo sculpture. He's yeah. that, and then y'all, the first rule of why this man is never going to commit: he's a disc jockey and an <laughs> event promoter. A disc jockey, not just a DJ and not just a promoter. He's, he's both. both, y'all. Now, look, that's a great. Pro- he probably has a really great job for living in Barbados, and that's. But y'all, if you. If you lock down that event promoter who never cheated on you, come at me. You've My been, DMs are you, open too. You've been you you are the luckiest person alive. Uh, you're still being Y'all, lied to. This man, this man is yeah. He says he's only had a couple relationships, or he's been married. He was long term relationship. 
you know, this man, this man's going to cheat. Well, here's the deal. I'm, it, you, can't you kind of see it in his face? There's a, there's a, uh, I was saying a cheating I'm not really look. look. I'm not really looking at his face <laughs> a lot. I, I, I was, I wasn't saying. Actually, he, he's gorgeous. I can see, I can see, I can always say I can see a cheat in, in their smile. <clears throat> um, especially men. I can't really see it in women. But I, yeah, I, I don't think you're really noticing women. <laughs> Smiles. Well, I don't. I don't think. Um, I just can't see it. But with men, there's something to, I can. There's just a little glint. Um, they're well, always going to. They're always going to tell you what you want to hear. I have a different perspective on this. So Stephen's 33. Martine is 26. Martine is from Miami. Uh-huh. She's from. But I, this she's is jump- a complete party girl. She. I think we're jump. This is jumping ahead a little bit, but I think it's fine to say. I think this relationship, and maybe I'll be wrong, but you know, other people are going to have secrets and things like that. I think this one is just, I'm interested to see, I want to hear the cheating thing from his perspective because Martine yeah. is really coming at this like, I want to settle down. I want a diamond. And, and Stephen is I'm like, I'm glad we're already defending Stephen. <laughs> no. I don't mean this as a defense. I mean, as this isn't a defense at all of him. It's more of, I just think these both of them are on two different planets as far as what they want. This is the furthest apart that a couple is. Um, and let me let me tell you, she what we're going to we're going to get into this, but there is a fatal flaw in Martine's thinking. She's beautiful as well, actually. And that flaw is that she brings up that Stephen has been unfaithful to her, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, two years ago she says, mm-hmm. and. The what she thinks to prove that they don't have trust issues anymore, to prove that he will commit to her, mm-hmm. she needs to leave Barbados an engaged woman. She has not communicated this to him exactly. and is going to tell him while she is there. Now and they actually met <laughs> on yeah, they now they met on a cruise. Yes. So like Y'all, they met, they both, it's not like she they went They were both to his, on a bank trip. Yeah, it's not like she was on, he was there on a bachelor party, and they ended up, yeah. like, hanging out on the, because uh, look, y'all, if you're on the cruise, guess what? There's people <laughs> couple up, because after a while, you That's fucked non-reality. everyone. The cruise is the best version of non-reality we've got. Have you ever you're hooked up with someone on a cruise? Oh, of course. Come on. I've never been on a cruise, so I wouldn't know. Mine was only two days. <laughs> I worked fast. Wow. wow. <laughs> I mean, I'll do the sissy cruise, but that's just going to be a bunch of our listeners. And I'm not hooking uh, up with I'm any of them. I'm not hooking up with any of y'all. Just going to be all oh, women. I'll, Sorry. Unless you want to bring your husband. No, no, no. <laughs> it, y'all, it's not cheating if it's, if it's with Poodle, remember. <laughs> wow. It's just, wow. give them, just give them a free pass. Please. You can um, send me their headshots if you'd like. The opinions of Jake Anthony are not the opinions of reality gays. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh. um, so she basically, they, they went on this. Kind of, she's like, we were just outside on the cruise. I was just twerking with my friends. Just so twerking. When, y'all, when you meet a boy mid twerk, <laughs> it just, <sighs> just no. This this is not the fodder for a long, long, <laughs> long term relationship. Imagine just twerking, and you're like, "This could be love." <laughs> oh, I, I feel so wow. Um. So she says, "I was been I've been cock blocked by COVID. Even though I sent him nudes, pics, all kinds of videos, they have been long distance in a, in a relationship for three years. They have." I'm wondering, and I'm not that I'm there's there's a little bit about her that seems um a little bit more that she she seems like she can't do anything wrong uh in the relationship and she seems a little put upon. She does seem I in wonder the right how a little bit committed mm. they he thinks they are. I well, wonder that. That that's what I'm saying. I yeah. think he's on a diff because look. She's 26 years old. So he probably is thinking, oh, she's th- yeah. there's a reason why a 33 year old man probably wants to be a 26 year old woman because he probably thinks she's fun. She doesn't want anything serious. So yeah. that's what I don't mean that as a defense. I'm wondering though, 
does it does he feel like he cheated on her? Because he says though that he he even says I enjoy this type of relationship because he said we're I have fun together. He's like we're having fun together. I have an eight year old. I was in an eight year relationship. She's a six year old. And I have a six-year-old daughter. I don't want that pressure from a long-term relationship. This is perfect. When she comes here, I'm able to see her. And then when she's not here, I spend time with my daughter and fuck other chicks. I think I, I think you're right. But I don't think they've ever had a serious conversation. That, that, and that's what it's I think. It's this paradise that, thing, y'all. It's, yep. it's Ariana's never had a serious conversation with Sherlon. They start having a serious conversation, and then that mouth DJ plays the song they love, <laughs> and they forget all about it. <laughs> and they're all like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> that, I can tell you, that mouse DJ is like 15 years old. I, I know nothing um, about like dance party music. Electro is, te- <laughs> is Technotronic still the big cl- big dance people ever be listening to? And then to? and then they hear another Avicii song. I think he's dead. <laughs> then they all got to go dance to it. I have uh, no idea. Or what's that? What's that? Uh, what's that DJ? Skrillex. Uh, or some? Yeah, we are. Uh, our, our, I don't listen to DJ music either. Yeah. Uh, the dance that DJ mouse. <laughs> It's not, you know, it's not an actual called, mouse. Just, just so we're we're clear, he's in like a he's in like a weird uh, Mickey Mouse costume. Yes, but, but I isn't just want he like you, called Mouse Man? I think it's or, Dead Mouse. Dead um, Mouse. Yes, I think I just need to make you aware that it's not actually a mouse. It's a person I, in a costume. I, I learned that three years ago. <laughs> okay, um, so he there. Uh, she was she actually she was talking with her friends. And they're yeah, all on a party boat, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, and she tells the friends that she's going to go down there and she wants to be like, proposed to. Oh, my to. God. That's great. That's great. I love. And then she's and, like, well. And he actually cheated on me two years ago. It was like record scratch. Uh, <laughs> and Dead they go, mouse just fell off the, oh. ha- the, the table. <laughs> and so she said, I forgave him. But um, I told him if this ever happens again. That or I'm, if I get I'm walking inkling. away. Yeah. Walking so, away. I'm walking away. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So, the, and the, so I wrote down. So remember, we are to prove he's not a serial cheater. She wants to get engaged. And even yeah. the friends are like, honey, I think you have those reversed. Again, this is a very... I think she's a young 26. Yeah. I don't think she's a emotionally – I don't think she's a, a – a, I yeah. don't think she has a lot of wisdom yet, which is fine. <laughs> Again, that's kind of – I do feel a little old when I watch this show because I'm like, yeah, that's what you do in your 20s. You just travel around and fuck people and you think things are serious and you, they're not. Yeah, but you don't immediately want to get engaged. Like you- I, I that I did not want to get it. Maybe that's a. Did you want to? No, I I, think you don't want to get I think, engaged. At I think 46. this is this is a heterosexual thing more than it's a. No, maybe maybe, yeah. maybe maybe I'm wrong. Um, but what I'd like to say is, even the friends say you can't even think about getting engaged until you resolve these trust issues. You yeah, can't even they, think well, about this. They said, "Do you trust him?" And she says, mm, "No." Yeah. Um, well, actually, she doesn't answer the question. Yeah. So, again, Poodle and I have said this before. Getting married, having a baby, those life things don't fix a relationship. No, they do not. But when you're 26, some people do think, oh, if we just get married, then he'll commit. Then I'll – and even for her, I think she's getting engaged not for just for him but for herself. Like, so I'll she commit. will believe it. Yeah. And so immediately if she's got that ring on her hand, she's an engaged woman and then she'll it's believe real. it. It's real for her. Again, this is all taking of these of, – of this time in paradise, which exists in this weird liminal space where the rules of our normal lives don't apply. Yeah. And, and trying to make them real any way we can. And the people on this show are finding out that it is harder than previously thought yes. <laughs> to yes. do this. Yes. Um, it's like camp. Like when we were at camp, I found out that uh, talking oh, no. to the bisexual boy um, and making out with him on the last night did not a substantial relationship make. 
Although you said you were dating the entire summer. <laughs> Only that last week. And then he made out with you and never called you again. Maybe. <laughs> and I think he sent me an IM or something. And I am we used a, to use a those Yahoo, a Yahoo chat message. And then I, he just got my away message. <laughs> what was his name? I don't even remember Peter. it. Peter. Oh, it was Peter. Yeah. Oof. Such a cute straight boy. Or at that time, bi boy. He was bi, yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> I never even felt his penis. God. <laughs> Why, well, that's when you had just kind of, you were just I out know, I was for making like my way out. Y'all, believe oh. it or not, I came out before Poodle, which sounds shocking, but no. Sorry, my phone is, someone from Sophia, West Virginia is calling me. I got what, a call so- this morning from Poland. <laughs> what the? Who the? We, mu- we must have, we must have family, fans in Poland. God, you fucked everyone. Okay, let's so, move on. So, anyway. Anyway, um, so... You're like, okay, I think they're on the wrong page, but you know what? He's picking her up at the airport. He's bringing flowers. This is sweet. He got her this really pretty suite for them to stay at. And you're like, okay, this is going to go well. No, this is part of the problem. This is part, even a bigger part of the problem. Well, He's I was not gonna, taking her to where he lives. Well, I was going to make, yeah, that's going to go. And then yeah. you wonder, but, huh, okay, he's not where he lives, but surely he's not hiding anything or surely, you know, she's not crazy or anything. And then they go to dinner. And but I just want to reiterate, he's all about continuing the fantasy of vacation yes. life. He wants to this have This is vacation not about life. reality. She's there to help him get away from his own life. Yeah. So Cut. they go to dinner. Yes. They go to dinner and they're getting drinks. God, this and the was waitress cringe as fuck. fuck. And the waitress says, Hey, wait a minute. Were you at that guy, the DJ at the party last week? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, oh, my God, I love you. And Martine <laughs> completely spins out of control. <sighs> and and I'm not to defend this waitress. And I'll, I'll this is the thing. Number, number one, the waitress should have never said that. And obviously he's there with a woman who may or may not be his girlfriend. But uh uh, but this one, I didn't mind. When the waitress said again, I made that drink I made just this for you. Just for you. Yeah, that that's was just fucking bitchy. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Very bad. Um, so she says, uh, she's like, you know, and she even said, it's I I feel like that you're you're very um what did he what did it, what did she call him? Um she had a term for it. She people, said, "Not have people." She's like something about designs, or you're you're. She, she had a very specific verbiage for it. I um, didn't write it down, but, but I remember she was she was basically saying you, you have a high profile on the island, and uh, and you love it. You you love basically. She's she like, came in hard, y'all, throwing accusations. Um, not not trying to make communication between the two. Now she could have said. She could have said instead of saying um, that that she she of course she directed her anger mostly toward the woman saying there's some hoes in here these hoes don't know how blah 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 <clears throat> respect that because she can't have anger towards him but no. instead of instead of saying do you do you do you know this really bothers me do you know how it bothers me when women act that way and instead of getting mad at the the attention say have an actual conversation about. How can we how can we both feel better about fidelity in the future? Or when I see that happen, it makes me question you. And I'm worried with your job that you are you are you're you're having women throw themselves at you. He would have then said, not denying it, but he would have said, you know, I'm with you. That's it. You just have to trust me. Well, she she doesn't, it's not that specific. She even said to him, like, do you not know? that my peace of mind is disturbed. And I thought, what does that mean? And because I also think it's very unrealistic on her part. Barbados is, I just looked it up. The population of Barbados in 2020 was 287,000 people. Mm -hmm. Take that and take that. We don't know what town he lives in, but he lives in a specific town part of Barbados. Right. It's probably like maybe 50,000 people. And he's a DJ in this tourist 
people are going to know who he is. Right. And honestly, and it, 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 is, it is a little unrealistic. And to I'm like, it. girl, do you know how many hot guys I fucked that had no jobs and made no money? Bitch, this man's taking you out to shit. Yeah. Like she's saying they go to restaurants and everything for free. He's famous there. He's she's dating a local celebrity and yet she's using his celebrity to be jealous when that's not even the that's, issue. That's a big contradiction. You're right. It it it's complete and she's and I think probably it's shooting herself in the foot because he's probably hearing you're just being crazy and he says, "Are you getting crazy?" cuz he's thinking she doesn't understand my job, but like you said, she hasn't communicated how this affects her personally yeah. and they need to work on their trust, but him still have this job. I, for one, would not call Martine crazy. You may nope. wind up with a drink in your face. Yeah. Uh, a rum punch mm. specifically made heavy on the rum. That's true. Y'all, th- this show, a lot of, except for the next couple, all of these problems would be somewhat solved if this all happened when they were 36 and not 26. Totally. 100%. <laughs> It's just like, it's like young people drama. Yeah, because it's really hard to communicate in your 20s. You're, oh. you're trying, you're, you, number one, you don't know how. You're worried about what the other person is going to think. Oh, I, would, Com- I was a mess. <laughs> Communication basically means being so brave in and being vulnerable enough to have an open dialogue with someone that you are going to want to talk about the really uncomfortable stuff. Yep. And even even at peril to your own ego or 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 fears, yep. and that's really hard to do in your twenties. Um, yep. So, anyway, I don't see a lot of good happening for them in the future. Uh, that's just me. And Martine says, if the girls are doing this in front of my face, I can't imagine what they're doing when I'm not here. See, that's the thing. She's more obsessed with the girls than she is. What they're doing than what than her what her boyfriend tells her. It also makes me think. I wonder though if that's what you love about him, his good looks, his celebrity, that you're attracted to that. And yeah. if he was just probably a normal guy who had a normal job on the island, I don't know if you would be in love with him, honey. Uh, that's that's a fa- I think that's a fair assessment. Mm-hmm. Um, I I yeah. think what would happen if he got into selling insurance? Would she still be? Because that- she's a. That's what I would I would throw I would p- throw that on her because but, she knows what these girls are thinking cuz she was that girl that mm-hmm. fucking landed him. So maybe she wants to be she wants to kind of be the, the maybe cuz she likes the drama. She wants to be the fiance of a, of of the of the guy. She who, wants the trophy. Yeah, she wants that trophy. Yeah. Yeah. It that makes sense to me. Um let's go to, to Panama. I I must say this is now, I hope for this couple more than any of the others. They have a lot against them, but... I don't think it's going to work. They, I do hope for them. Mostly yeah. because they're, there's a lot, there's a lot against them. But they, they have, the, they have the most, to me, they have, they have the longest relationship. And they've just got a weird romance thing going on that we haven't seen in the other couples. I'm just saying, if Melissa Etheridge decides to do a show no, in Panama, don't say that. That, that K is gonna <laughs> don't say get a that out. because well, you know, there's no reason that she can't commit to a man later if she's bi. I'm just saying, but she's already not into monogamy. She already said so. I don't. Think I it's, know that that it's that not gonna kind of that kind of oh again. I just kind of know. like. These both people haven't communicated with them. Yeah. Let's jump in. I, so first we meet Mark Kay. and Kay. We meet Kay. It's spelled like Key. Kay. <laughs> uh, Kay. And she is 36 and she's buff as fuck, which yeah. she should be. She's a personal Argentin- trainer. Argentinian personal trainer. She lives in Bocas. Uh, I can't remember the place. Bocas in Costa Rica. Sorry, Panama. Thank They're you. They're in Bo- Panama. But Bocas to something. I, but they call it Bocas. But she's traveled everywhere and they've been. She's a big... <laughs> travel a lot in her life she says she says i've had lots of boyfriends but never me with a gringo and you never know? and she said i love the island life i love it i love it i love it and she's like i love to work out on the beach it soothes me so she's a personal trainer and she nature is great for her that's kind of what she's into cut to mark 
uh, is from California, a white 39. guy. She goes green deal. And she says, and so tell me, I got confused, Poodle. What's their history? So they met nine years ago? Uh, Explain they, this to me. He was running the hostel. Because of course, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. so she is a free spirited travel person, y'all. This is this is which is Evelyn. what you do when you're yeah. 28. You're, it is this Evelyn. Is, oh my this god, is Evelyn. this is Evelyn and Corey. That's what <laughs> I literally said that earlier in the podcast. You just kind of stared at me. Yeah, Gary, roll that tape. I didn't hear it. <laughs> didn't y'all? Hear it. I hate my life this time where this one comes up with. Oh wait, you're right. Uh, this is Evelyn. This is she's a, a lot. She's a kind of a warmer version of Evelyn. Yeah. Um. But she's very beachy, like Evelyn is. Yeah. Um. Uh, and they both need to use a little more moisturizer and need to stay out of the sun more. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they both have not worn their sunscreen. She's not going to age well. Yeah. So they are. Uh, he was running the hostel, and she was a guest. And and he said, we're both free spirits. And so all of a sudden, one night, she just pulled him onto the dance floor. And it was like a scene from Ito Mama Tambien, except for without the other guy. Yeah. Which is why I love which that is, movie. Which is why I love that movie, too. <laughs> And they're they're all they're all excited. And, and she's like, and the next, and then we went to her room and we continued, continued. our relationship. Yep. It was very well said. <laughs> um, so... They, uh, they, they basically, she, she, she left and they talked in Argentina and then uh, all the time. So they were kind of having a quasi, I don't know if they were, they were, pro- I guarantee you Kay is someone who never wants to put a label on her relationship. Oh. And so probably she was talking to him. He wouldn't, he would ask her about things and she would say, no, I'm not this. We can be blah, blah, blah friends who see each other. Let's meet up again in, mm-hmm. in Bocas. And then he did, he stopped hearing from her completely because she just kind of fell off the map. She went to rehab for ketamine, mm-hmm. and or the way it's known as special K. Oh, um, boy, the fly just flew in my face. Can you not pierce the toast when I'm it talking about me. drug I, use? I thought it was a bee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was a bee. <laughs> So yes, I don't know how many times you've you freaked out about either a fly or a gnat, and you went, "I thought it was a bee." Okay, um, sorry. Keep talking about. Um, let's talk ketamine. about serious things. So okay. this is, um, and and y'all, there are, there are people who have big ketamine problems, um, and they're I think they're still trying to use it as a treatment for something. Um, here, I I need to be more up. It on can this. be. Can it be used as an anesthesia? Can't- yeah, it's horse tranquilizers. Special K, ketamine's for depression. Yeah, that's. I was gonna say that's where they've um, uh, they've been using it uh, psychedelics and also psychedelics. Mm. But uh, but it's it is. Um, but that was nine years ago. So who knows? But she she was in rehab. She called him and told him she was in rehab, and he flew immediately down there with her. He did. And then he went with her to outpatient. He was living with her family. He spoke no English. And and because of the, the, the stress of everything, they kind of broke up six months in. He went back. They kind of, and he said, he even says, this, this is the part that gets me. And this is the part that is this romance, this, this kind of weird... Um. Uh, what is it? What's the What's the the Bridges of Madison County kind of thing? Where she, <sighs> he said, "What or the Notebook? What if I would have stayed, y'all?" And I know the Notebook isn't real. What if I would have stayed? What if I would have learned Spanish? So this is this weird nine to ten year fulfillment. That's what That's what makes this story so compelling. So again, I'm probably going to disappointed. It's a I'm lot get disappointed. of disappointed. Y'all, it's a lot of buildup, and it's going to fail. Kind of like when my Stop. aunt Peggy. Oh. It's like when my aunt Peggy married her high school sweetheart at, after their 50 year reunion. They got divorced in a week. <sighs> this is different than Aunt Peggy and her high school sweetheart. Well, we'll see if Mark ends up putting <laughs> new tires on his Ford Explorer and if he divorces her like Aunt Peggy did her husband. So she messaged, she out of the blue messaged uh, him and she said, I've moved to Bocas. And they started chatting. And I don't. Has he gone down there again? I don't it think he. Like, I think it's the like first this is, time. 
This is the first time they're so he's going down there and he's going to ask her to move to America to be with him. Yeah. So she's getting but coffee again, with her friend Vicky. Yeah. And but, R- Vicky's we, really cute. But we're seeing this is not they're not on the same page because I agree. First of all, can you imagine when her friend Vicky says, "When's the plane coming?" She says, "When I hear the plane, I'll head to the airport." <laughs> Can you imagine living in a place where you hear I'm the one? I'm kind of into it. I'm, I, I'm, I, it made me like. When I hear the plane, I will go. Look, boss, the plane. I mean, I was kind of like, wow. I don't know what that would be like. Yeah. I, I cackled when I heard that. And that tells you everything you need to know about Kay, y'all. Um, I'm, I'm kind of in love with her. Just to be honest. Oh, I love Kay. Her energy and everything is very just. God, I love her. Yeah. Uh, she is exactly the magnetized. people who I met uh, when I was in Chile. People like expats who are living in um, American expats or even for people who've moved other places to get away from their life there. It is very, they have had to either do work on themselves and their energy is, is such an accepting place and everything is kind of what you see is what you get. Um, it's 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 interesting. So she is she Real shows jealous. Vicky a picture and says he's sexy, and Vicky goes, "Oh my god!" And y'all, he is hot. He is very like my type in my thirties and forties type. Like he's hot. Yeah, yeah, um, he's cute. He's he's not as much my type, but he is cute. He is. Oh, cute. he's my type. Definitely. He is. He is your type. He's not black, so it'd be hard for him to be. <laughs> Your time. Well, you didn't say it. So, um, but he says, our, her friend says, she's like, wow, he's really sexy. And she says, are you in love? And Kay just kind of goes, mm, doesn't say anything. And her friend's like, oh my God, you are in love. Yeah. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be a total romance. This is going to work out. Then Nothing can come between this. He wants me to move to America with him. And she's like, I don't want to go. And then she says, Nothing is special about America, except peanut butter. They probably do have the world's best peanut butter. I will say, Ameri- Americans or or people or immigrants who come here often ship American peanut butter overseas because <laughs> you cannot get peanut butter. Wow, I agree. American peanut butter is the best. You could not get when I lived in Austria. It was impossible to get good peanut butter. You could get Nutella. But peanut butter, no, you can't. I, I remember my mother would ship me Jif. Do peanuts even grow at other places in the world a lot? I know peanuts yeah, are such you an American them, thing. And they're an export, but um, I don't know if Americans, if peanuts are all grown in America. It's a good question. I would need, like, before I have an opinion on this, I would like <laughs> to research it. I'd like to research it. So, but then not even that. She's like, Vicky says, well, does he think you're not seeing anyone else? And that's where Kay says, monogamy doesn't really. Yeah. It's She's not like, important I didn't sleep to me. with anyone last night. I don't think it's healthy. So that's where I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if she's talked about her opinions on monogamy with Mark. I, um, uh, and I, 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 I will say, I don't know. I don't think Kay is leaving to go to America. Maybe he'll decide to live there with her. Look, if this is where she's especially established a sobriety, she's not yeah, going to want to interrupt right. that. That could be very triggering for her. You're exactly also, right. Also, too, I worry that with people, just in my experience of kind of lengthy experience of counseling and stuff, the people in, you know, when you're in a relationship with someone who's struggling with addiction, it's hard because when you're with them, you can they can make you feel like you are the only person in the world. But then at the same time, they've got their own demons and things that they're working with. And they might, you might, Mark might feel like she wants to be with him and he Mm -hmm. thinks she wants to move to California. But I'm worried when he gets there, what's the reality of their situation going to be? Yeah, I think I was, I think I was, I think she, she may have messaged him because she was kind of taking inventory and she was thinking, who of the people who have been there for me? And he flew, fucking flew there. Yeah. And so I she's. I hope he learned to do a lingo at least this time. <laughs> Come on. I hope so too. Um, that's that. Those are our four couples, y'all. I don't know if anybody. I don't know. Nope, we haven't seen any more from the trailer, I don't believe. Oh. I think it might uh, be just these four. I don't, 
I feel like there was another one, but maybe not. Maybe. We don't know how many episodes this is. Is it six episodes? It's airing episodes? every Sunday. Sunday. It drops so on Sunday on Discovery Plus. It may be a single life-ish thing where they have a tell-all. Um, really? So I don't know. I do not know. But they would have to... Uh, they... I guess they could do a com with all the other people because they all don't have K1s to go here. I guess they could. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, not I'm... a... Yeah, I don't know. There's they, With Discovery Plus, they don't tell you how many episodes things are. They just drop a couple. And this yeah, is, they don't. Because Single looking... Life was what, 12? But not including the Pillow Talks. I think so, yeah. I'm looking at... Um... A uh, deadline, a variety article, and it doesn't say it. Does, yeah, and they don't. Ooh, although it does show Mark with his shirt off, and he he's hot. Is hot. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Um, it really was called Ninety Day Colon Caribbean. That's Love. what I'm saying. No, I mean I'm just they, wanted to say that they did not know, y'all. This is know. With, this is with streaming. It's the wild west out there right now. Pew, pew, pew. Things are happening so quick. Well, y'all, we're excited. This is going to be a fun little ride. Um, I think that I love Discovery Plus and I hate them because they don't want us to sleep, apparently. No. Um, I, it could be See You in Paradise? See? Oh, or... I kind of like that. We'll mm. fuck you we'll, in paradise. We'll, we'll fuck you in paradise. We'll fuck you in paradise, y'all. See you next week. <laughs>